Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be going over a pure jabs on that I made that could take down Uber Tristram. I wanted to see if I was even able to do it, and this was my first attempt with her. She didn't do too bad, just some minor mana issues, and I accidentally had my 25% Sunder Charm on instead of the 10. However, I was still able to beat them. I'm going to go over the items that I chose to use as well as skills, and I'm going to end the video with a clip of beating the Ubers. Before we begin, if you could please like this video and subscribe to help me grow, I would greatly appreciate it. It. So for my gear, I tried a couple different things. I tried two-handed weapons and everything, but this is what I came up with to beat the Uber Tristrams with my own build. I use F Thunderstrokes with plus four to javelin skills, and it gives you a little bit of increased attack speed. And then for my shield, I use Phoenix Monarch. It gives the redemption aura if you're killing monsters and need healed. And then it has enhanced damage, and it helps your lightning resistance a little bit, as well as some fire for when you're facing Diablo. And I tried Storm Shield, but I ended up liking Phoenix a little bit better. And then for my armor, I used Chains of Honor. I tried Fortitude out. I just needed a little bit more resistance. And then the plus two to skills is really nice as well. For my helmet, I used Guillaume's. It gives the crushing blow that helps a lot against Ubers. And then I put a Shale Rune in there just for some faster hit recovery. The next breakpoint for faster hit recovery for Zahn is 53. So with this, you're really close. You could either add a five faster hit recovery small charm or if you want to put vertigos on that gives you 10 faster hit recovery and you will hit that break point and then i also wear vertigos because it gives a little bit of physical damage reduction as well as a little bit of life for my boots i went with goblin toe they give you 25 percent crushing blow you can always go with gore riders if you want to they give you some faster run walk they give you a little bit less crushing blow but also give you deadly strike and open wounds but for this instance i just stuck with goblin toe and then for gloves i tried out the plus two to javelin skills with the 20 IES and 10 crushing blow i just didn't i needed a little bit more survivability so i went with my favorite melee pvm glove the drackles and that gives you some life leech as well as some open wounds as well. So not a bad glove. Plus the life tap. I love the life tap. It helps you survive. So that's why I chose this glove. And then for my amulet, I went with high lords. It gives you plus one to skills, some increased attack speed, deadly strike, and it helps with the lightning resistances. And then I went with a wisp, tried to help absorb Mephisto's lightning a little bit. And then I went with a Raven Frost. It gives you two attack rating, dex, a little bit of mana, and I really wear it for the cannot be frozen. And then for my charms, I wear Java Lifers. They help you a lot. You can always sub them out if you need faster hit recovery with a 12 faster hit recovery one. But I wear eight of these bad boys. And then I swapped out my 25 Sunder Charm, which is right here for my 10 that I should have used to begin with, but I have it here now. And then I wear a Zon Torch, get the best that you can get, as well as an Annie. And then I have a combination of 20 life, five resistance small charms. If you can't get them together, try to get them individual and get what you need. Make sure you have your max resistances and then add as much life as possible. For my skills, I maxed out Jab. This is gonna be your main attack. I could have done a Jab and Fend hybrid build, but I just went pure Jab just to see if I was able to do it. So this is your main attack right here. And then for your passive and magic skills get at least dodge avoid and evade to level 14 that's what you really need it at to hit the maximum percentages for each one of those to trigger and then i maxed out penetrate that increases your attack rating which helps you hit more and i maxed out critical strike which has a chance to double your attack so do more damage you could kill faster and then i added all my extra points into valkyrie i tried to get a tank try to have an extra tank just to see if it would help and it did fairly decent in the couple trial runs that i did as well as runs that i did after my first initial attempt so it's not bad to have and then i was also casting inner sight to try to make it easier to hit my opponent so i'm not sure if that really helped but i used it as i was fighting the ubers so these are my skills nothing too crazy i also threw up a decoy or tried to throw up a decoy when i'm fighting them just to see if you know get some of the trash mobs to focus on that so these are the skills i maxed out you could switch them up as much as you want to but i was able to clear the ubers with this for my stats you could do several different things here i just went with enough strength for my gear a little bit more just to make sure i could wear it and then for dexterity i added a lot because i want max blocking with phoenix shield you don't have to add that much and it also boosted my attack rating a little bit and then i added the rest into vitality to try to get as much life as i possibly could so that's pretty much it for stats nothing too crazy
For my mercenary, I went with the Act 1 mercenary. She actually did really, really well in the Ubers. She survived quite a long time after a couple trial runs. I got the cold one. You could go cold or fire. It just depends on whatever you prefer. But I put a Faith on her for fanaticism. It gives you a little bit extra damage and speed. I put an S Fortitude on her. And then I put the new Rune Word Ground on her for some Lightning, Absorb, and Resistance to try to help survive against Mephisto a little bit. So that's my mercenary I used. Again, she does really, really well for me. So this is my pure jab Amazon build that I was able to do the Uber Tristram with. I chose to go with a one-handed weapon and shield rather than use a two-handed weapon. However, go ahead and experiment around if you want or if you have any suggestions or your own builds, feel free to comment below on what you do. Thanks again for checking out my videos. If you could please give this video a like and subscribe to help me grow, I would greatly appreciate it. And now I'm going to end this video with a clip of her doing the Ubers. Will not ever die in vain.